Hey everyone, I am presenting my final paper in the course which is titled Bureaucracy, Inequality and Governance, a Comparative Study of Mexico and Brazil. Um, so essentially what the paper is about is comparing and contrasting the institutional arrangements and political administrative relations, relations in each state and how these arrangements pertain to the issue of income inequality and how a state um, grapples and tries to address inequality, as well as how effective um, the state is at doing that. Um, to offer an introduction of just the countries in question, um, essentially, there are some similarities between the state of Mexico and Brazil, um, mainly in size. Um, in population size, they also have struggled in the past with histories of authoritarianism, um, and that's a legacy that has impacted both countries. However, to date, they're both uh, democracies, and they're both important countries in the region uh, that uh, possess high levels of inequality um, between the top 1% and the rest of society. Um, what the paper finds is that even though inequality is a problem in both countries, there's diverging attitudes among citizens about perceptions of bureaucracy in the state, as well as um, over just the general direction of both countries. Mexican citizens hold very pessimistic uh, views of the direction of their country and of the state, whereas Brazilian citizens hold less negative attitudes about the state bureaucracy and the direction of the country. Uh, given um, just the fact that they both struggle with the same issue, the question is why are there these differences that exist? Uh, one explanation is there's some differences in bureaucratic stereotyping of officials in public positions in both countries. In Mexico, citizens essentially view government officials as politicos. These are bureaucrats that are self-interested, self-aggrandizing, and they're not really concerned with the needs of citizens or service delivery. There's a perception that politicos control and run the Mexican government. And the difference in Brazil is that citizens don't perceive bureaucracy or the government in this fashion. Instead, they view it as more or less complex and unclear, excessive, and difficult to navigate. Uh, that in and of itself is different than the more negative attitudes Mexican citizens have of the state. And this ties in with how Brazilian citizens view the state as essentially a bureaucracy, a machine um, that they think is excessive and tough to really understand. This explanation in part reveals why Mexican citizens have worse perceptions of the state, since they see it as ineffective and corrupt, whereas Brazilian citizens perceive the state as complex and just challenging to navigate, um, which is symbolic of how citizens perceive a modern Weberian bureaucracy uh, that can actually be effective. There's also differences with how the state in each country is able to absorb or address the issue. In Brazil, uh, poverty has been declining for about two decades. Um, inequality is a significant problem in Brazil, and I think people in literature clearly recognize that. But the differences in Mexico, poverty and inequality are both extremely high, whereas in Brazil, it's mainly just inequality that's high. Um, in Mexico, the top 1% hold half of the country's wealth, 
and his metric has not improved. The differences in how people perceive these problems and how government addresses them is very evident in a Pew poll from a few years ago. Um, in 2018, 85% of Mexican citizens were dissatisfied with the direction of the country. Um, dissimilarly, 76% of citizens in Brazil stated that the government is quote unquote doing a good job of handling the economy. That's extremely high. It's higher than you would see in any most Western countries, including the US. This, these differences mean that the difference in legitimacy of the state and also strong versus weak governance. In Brazil, while people view the state as inaccessible and complex, their citizens actually grant it a degree of legitimacy. As a result, it's better positioned to make decisions on behalf of the citizenry. By contrast, Mexico displays indicators of weak governance, and this includes susceptibility to the actions of non-state actors, external forces, and this vulnerability exacerbates the stereotypes that citizens hold over the state. What's interesting about the paper is that while both states cope with income inequality, and they have similar degrees of inequality, there's diverging perspectives within the countries about how big of a problem this is, and also just about whether the country is moving in a positive or negative direction. These reflect the extent that citizens have faith in their government to essentially address major problems. Um, and basically, that is what the paper is about. And through this comparative analysis, it projects that Brazil is better positioned to continue to grow as a country and um, tackle the issue, whereas Mexico is ill positioned to do so.